Hey guys, this is Layton with Quality Pro Reviews, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit Final Cut Pro 10 on an external hard drive, or just maybe another hard drive that you have that isn't your main operating system hard drive. So we're now in Final Cut Pro 10, and if you're starting from scratch, this is how it will look like. Uh, if you're opening it for the first time, you might get a uh, untitled library because uh, Final Cut Pro likes to have at least one library uh, open or available at all times. Uh, we're starting from scratch because as I've already told you in my previous video, I've already done the migration for my personal uh, Final Cut file, so I can't do it again. And it's quite a bit of files will be here all day, but I'm just gonna create a basic library and walk you through the steps of how to take your existing library and move it. It'll be the same step. So I'm just going to go to file, and where it says new, I'm just gonna make a new library. And by default, you'll notice that it defaults to the movies folder, and this will be in your uh, user directory, the one denoted with the uh, home icon, that, that uh, directory. So I will just call this my videos. So, Obviously, this will be your existing library, but I'm just making one just for demonstration's sake. So there we go. We have a library called My Videos. So let's just quickly make an event. So I'm going to go here and create a new event. And I'm just going to call this Logo Sting. And the default settings are fine. 1080p, 23.98 uh, frames per second. Stereo audio at 44.1 kilohertz. We're gonna be rendering Apple Pro S422. That's fine, and it'll create a new project. We'll keep that checked. And I'm just gonna copy Logo Sting because I'm gonna also call my project that. Okay, so now we have a couple of events, and we have our smart collections, and we have our project. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna import some media because in a lot of cases you will have um, footage from other external media, that kind of case, or uh, from other locations which aren't your operating system hard drive. So this is my G drive. I'm just gonna go into my QPR folder here and I'm just gonna get that logo sting. Here it is. And this is the rendered file. So I'm just gonna import that. So now we have this clip. I'm going to drag that in to our project. So now we have a project with the logo sting. Awesome. So this is good and well. This will be good enough for us to just talk about dealing with managing libraries and moving them. So the easiest way to do this, I'm just going to collapse this, basically going to file and then new, and then new library, and then choosing the location where I wanna have my library. So I'm just gonna go with my G drive. I'm gonna go to my folder, this Final Cut Pro 10 folder, and I'm just gonna call it my videos as well. You could call it whatever you like, but I'm just gonna do it that way just for continuity sake. So now I have this in this so this library the one we've collapsed is the one that is on my operating system hard drive and then this my videos is on my g drive okay so this one is empty this one has our all of our uh, projects and events in there so now we have both libraries set up so what you need to do is select all of your projects, all your events. So by default, you'd have your projects inside of your events. So just as we do here, so you'd have all of them selected. And then what you do is go to file, copy events to library. So we're copying from my videos. So the only other library available is this one. So I'm gonna click my videos and you'll have the option to copy as well your optimized media and your proxy media. 
ensure these are checked, especially if you're using proxies while you're editing. Uh, proxies are kind of out of the scope of this video, but it is a better way to edit and it's faster and kind of easier on your computer, but we can always do that in another video. Just make sure that these are checked. Then you want to click OK. So obviously in our case, we don't have as many projects, but now you can see, I'm just going to close this one. Now you can see we do have those projects and events moved over, right? So now what I'm going to do just to prove and to make sure this is the library that's currently on our operating system. I'm going to right click. I'm going to close that library. So now the only library that's currently available now in Final Cut Pro is the one on our G drive, as you can see by the URL. So now I could take this project, open it up, and now I am editing from my G drive. So if I wanted to go in, use the blade, split that up. Now you can see I'm doing my edits. And then we, there we are. And now I am editing off my external drive. So as I said, not really hard. I said it was the harder way. Uh, it's a little bit more involved, but um, once you follow all the steps and you make sure you have everything where you want it, this is pretty much foolproof. Uh, my only caveat with this, if you do have footage from external media, um, I prefer to uh, just import all my footage initially. Any footage that I might have from external media, I would import that into a project folder and then import from that folder as opposed to importing from like external hard drives or cards or things of that nature. Just because when you start moving around your libraries, um, links to these things will change. And if you don't have that drive plugged in or that card plugged in, you're going to run into errors and missing media. So I tend to do my projects in folder. So I'll make a folder for that project on my hard drive, import all the media, whether it be from my video cameras, from my cards, wherever. And then I'll import from that folder just so that everything's in one place. All right, let's move on to the easier way. So here we are. I currently have this program opened. It's called Final Cut Library Manager. This is made by the company called Arctic Whiteness and they have a couple of uh, Final Cut Pro centric applications. Uh, they're really, really good. Um, this is definitely an easier way, especially if you have um, some libraries that have a ton of files, you don't wanna miss anything, or if you have multiple libraries across multiple drives. So when you first open the app, it will scan your drive to find any available libraries. This isn't my first time using this, and I've currently removed all my sources because I wanted to show you how to manually do that. So there are a couple ways of doing this. You can go to File, Add Source, or under the Sources section here, there's a little plus. You can click that, and it'll open your browser, and you can direct it to your library sources. So as we had discussed, anything related to Final Cut Pro and libraries by default will be in that home directory under movies. So there's our my videos library that we made earlier. So I'm just going to select that library and I'm going to add it. So now you can see it shows my Macintosh hard drive, which is this drive right here, my operating system hard drive. It says I have 285 gigs free. And currently I have a library called my videos and it also shows the directory, which we already know where it is. And it is currently using 43.9 megabytes of space. So obviously not a really, really big um, file. And under here, you can see I don't have any proxy files at the moment, no optimized files at the moment. It's just a really, really basic library. So I'm gonna walk you through on how to do a basic move like we did before in Final Cut Pro. So I'm just gonna go to my G drive and I'm gonna go to that Final Cut Pro 10 folder. And here's that library that we uh, basically copied or moved earlier. I'm just gonna delete it. So now it's completely gone. I'm just going to put that in the background for now. 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add that folder, this folder here, my Final Cut Pro 10 folder on our G drive. I'm going to add that as a source. All right. So I'm going to click on that plus, then go to my G drive. And then I'm going to go to that Final Cut Pro 10 folder. So now I've added the folder. It hasn't found any libraries there. So right now it's empty. That's fine. I'm going to go back to the Macintosh hard drive and I'm going to right click on this library. And if you had more libraries, it would list them. Obviously, I'm just going to right click and then I am going to select move. Right. It's going to ask me, where do I want to move it? I want to move it to that source. So I'm going to go to my G drive and there's that Final Cut Pro 10 folder. And now I have moved the library. So what's awesome about this, as opposed to uh, making a copy or a backup, this is so cool that if I just want to completely migrate my library from one drive to another, it's basically one click. So now under my Macintosh hard drive, I don't have, if you notice, this is pretty much empty. But when I go to my Final Cut Pro 10 folder, you'll notice now this library is there. And just to prove that, I'm just going to open that folder. And there you can see that my videos file has been moved. And if we go to my home directory and then go to movies, you notice that there's no library here anymore. It's been moved. It's that easy. Like this doesn't get any easier. So that's the end of this video. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.